Hi. <clears throat> What's going on? Everything okay? Porter, I want to ask you a question. Right. Before you answer it, I want you to think about what marriage is. I mean, to me, marriage is about trust. That's all it is. And I believe an honest marriage can survive anything, but a dishonest marriage, to me, it's no marriage at all. Right. Are you having an affair? Of course. Porter. Are you asking me if I'm having an affair? Are you serious? Is she serious? Hilarious. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute. No, I'm gonna stay. No, no, no. Stay, stay. stay. Oh. All right, Porter, we can just forgive. It's not important, I guess. It's not important? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. If somebody's saying something about me, I'd like to know what it is. Well, a friend of mine said that she saw you with a young woman, a cellist. And you actually think that I would put our marriage into that kind of jeopardy? Well, I don't know, Porter. I just, I got scared. Scared? Don't you think it might have been a good idea to take a look at this person and examine whether or not they actually are your friend, you know? Because if you needed to, you can always find a hundred special prosecutors to come up with any story you're looking for. But I think it might be a good idea if you would just examine yourself and why it is that you need to believe something that would make you pursue a sordid little fishing expedition like this. This is, this is, well, no, I guess you, no, you have the temerity, you have the audacity, you have the heartlessness without a shadow of a fraction, of a moment, of a scintilla, of a tiny atom, of a doubt, to think that I would put our marriage into that kind of jeopardy? That's just fine, Ellie. Oh, that's just fine. 25 years. I would have thought better of you, Ellie. But that's fine. That's fine. Good. Fine. 25 years. Her name is Alex. Uh, she does play the cello. You son of a bitch! Oh, Ellie. Yeah, it's all right. I knew. I knew it. I knew this. This is exactly what you would fall for. Some struggling musician you could take care of with a big resonating box between her legs. God damn it, Porter. Do you know we have been together for so many years? I think I forgot how little backbone you actually have. An honest uh, marriage can survive anything. You just oh, this is it. about you and your big stupid cock. See you later. So, uh, w what are you saying that you don't want to work it out? Look around you, Porter. Look at this life, and when you realize how much work it took to make you the completely successful man you are, instead of the sneaky pussy crazy slob you were genetically programmed to become. And then maybe you can understand insofar as it is possible for you to understand. <laughs>